Hello, I am Edward Andrew, and welcome to my 3DS Match tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'll be showing you some key features of the biped in 3DS Max. So to create the biped, we need to be in the Create tab, then go to Systems, and click Biped. Although I've just noticed I'm using generic units, so first I'm going to go to Customize, Unit Setup, and change it to Meters so I can create my biped to real life scale. I'm now going to create my biped again, the same way we did last time and now change the height parameter to 1.7 meters, which is around the average height for a normal person. Now in order for us to use some of the biped's key features, we need to go to the motions tab. One of the great features of the biped is that if we go into figure mode, we can actually scale bones to fit our own measures and characters and rig them more efficiently. However, in order for us to animate the character, we need to come out of figure mode. Now with the biped, we can create poses for our character, and we can also copy and paste poses. This means that we can copy a pose and paste it later as a keyframe. This is a very powerful feature when it comes to animating our character. So to do this, we open the copy paste rollout, and then we create a new collection and name it whatever we like. Then we can create a pose, so position our character as we want them, and click Copy Pose. Then, once you have all the poses you need, you can begin pasting them. And to do that, you will need to turn Auto Key on, and paste the pose, and then move along the time slider, and paste the next pose. Now in this example, after I've finished pasting my poses, I begin using the paste opposite command to fill out the rest of my animation. This. And those are the main features of the biped that I use in 3ds Max. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I should also mention that you can use the biped for motion capture. If you have motion capture files, you would have seen it on the rollout. And you can also save your animations as .cpy files. And then you can load them later on. So if you go to collection and save or load, you can save or load the animations.